Hey guys, Chook here with Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I wanted to do a video on my new setup and it's about the gun and the holster. Now, uh, before I've been talking for eight months how I'm gonna get the Ruger Alaskan 44 and that was gonna be, you know, my bear protection gun. But a deal came along and as everybody knows, I'm always changing up guns and I got something that I just couldn't resist. And uh, that's the Ruger Red Hawk Tulklet in 454 Casul, and this this is safe there's nothing in there this gun is just amazing I, and i had said on a previous video that it wasn't for me because you know my hands are kind of small i'm a smaller framed guy and this would be really heavy carrying on some of my mountain hikes and mountain hunts but chuck said y'all just don't be a pansy you know you, would you rather have the weight of a bear on you and, and he made a good point and and so when i got a chance to get it um it's actually not that bad a lot of my stuff is super light this is over a little over three pounds so it is heavy and, and you do notice it on long hikes but it's just something i'm going to train for and uh, i'm just so happy with it it also uh, i was wrong about the recoil it, it's actually not bad because of the weight of the gun because of the weight of the gun the recoil isn't that bad it's got this five inch barrel you're getting all the ballistics which really makes a difference with such a hard hitting round like 454 casual you know and i'm definitely i know i'm a big extreme penetrator guy but i'm definitely going buffalo boar hard cast with this thing so that that's that's going to do the most damage on a bear or a charging bear so it holds six rounds it's got these hogue style i don't know if they're hogue but it's got these you know rubber grips this is a special one this has been bead blasted by wild west guns and it also has a trigger job which uh, i'm super happy with it because this the trigger is just light super light and smooth as butter it feels like a smith and wesson trigger like that that smith and wesson 500 i have usually a uh you know a ruger's trigger is just real crunchy and real tough but this thing is just smooth so if you want a nice shooting 454 you know have wild west guns do their trigger job on that because you, you will not be disappointed it, it does have the ability to put a scope on it i'm really not a uh, scope guy for pistols so i'll never put a scope on that i, I just like the sights you know adjustable sights you know i don't know if they offer any any other sites for it for some tritium or something but I, I bet you you could find some but uh this thing is just amazing and this is a timeless combination i mean it's like 15 20 years ago guides would have something like this a ruger red hawk and then they'd have it in the diamond d guides choice leather holster you know made here in alaska and nothing has changed you've got guides today new guides coming up and they're they're still going with the diamond d leather holster this is a little lower than i'd like this is almost bandolier length usually i like it on my chest so i will change that up as as we get into the summer season but look at how smooth that goes in i mean it's just really nice but the you can get these extra uh bullet holders and i'll probably get even one more you know these are like 35 bucks but you have you see so many of these setups just because it's so classic it's so reliable uh the leather is is comfortable i know i i like my kydex chest holsters for like the glocks glock 20s but for something like this you want the leather diamond d chest holster there's just something about it, it holds the weight well it's really comfortable it doesn't bounce too much when you're running and it's funny because i've got two childhood friends that i grew up with since like sixth grade in homer alaska and both of them have this exact setup they got a ruger toe clat in 454 and uh, the diamond d chest holsters that, that tells you something right there if the locals all have this exact setup i mean this is the way to go and you know when my buddy moved up here felton he uh he was wondering what he should get for bears i instantly told him a toe clat because i i think it's just an awesome bear protection and uh then i told him about this holster too and and he did a bunch of research on his own and that this is what he went with now i had the smith and wesson 500 uh which i missed that gun that was really nice i never had any problems with it except for some lube freezing on me when i was using the wrong type of lube 
for some reason, I feel Ruger revolvers are a little tougher than the big bore Smith & Wesson revolvers, and people will argue with me with that, but I, I've never had a problem with a Ruger. I've had several Ruger Red Hawks, and uh, I've just loved them. And for bear protection, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this setup, So, especially with the holster. So let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. It's Chook, your friend in the field.